It is Friday. Time to move on with this sign. I hope everybody's having a great week. Big weekend coming up. Um, all right, so this sign for uh, for Peter Brown. Let's uh, let's get into it. I want to show you kind of what I've done here. I want to do the background, or actually the inset. I want to do it a little bit different than what I've done before. So I've I've taken my square with my straight edge, and what all I did literally was just. I didn't take any measurements, I just eyeballed it and I drew my diagonal lines on all my, all my surfaces that I'm going to take out. Then I'm going to use my 60 degree bit in my little rigid router and I'm, I think I'm right around 3 Yeah. that show up? Yeah, I think so. It's Hopefully. right around 3 16 deep. By the way, all of the profiling that I did on Wednesday's video on here, I was uh, right out a quarter of an inch, something like that. So, let's uh, let's get into this. I want to hear some thunder. Yeah, in, in the background, we have monsoon season out here, and there's dark clouds, and we see rain off in the distance. We're on the patio. Love carving outside. I, I just I forgot how much I uh, I enjoyed carving outside. Actually, I love it. So I haven't carved in a thunderstorm before. This is going to be fun. Well, actually, I did up in Oatman a few times, but I haven't done it here. All right. Um, we're going to start on this. So again, I got it at about three sixteenths, and these lines are simply just reference lines. As a matter of fact, I'm going to actually. I'm going to turn the board a little bit diagonal, so I'm just pulling those, uh, pulling those toward me. Is that give you? Yep. Is that I right did. for you? So now what I'm going to do because these are just reference lines. When I I'm going to make a couple cuts, then I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see I'm looking, I'm kind of knowing where those lines are, so I keep my 45 degree uh, angle there, but I'm, what I'm really looking at is I'm looking at, let me get a pointer here, what I'm really looking at is this side of the, of the edge, and what I'm trying to get is I'm trying to create this to be down low below the uh, surface of the board. So all I'm doing is I'm just following the line that I cut previously and having it down below the surface of the board so I don't end up with uh, with high spots. But that's, the, so the lines are there just for a reference so I can keep it going. Here we go.
almost too bad you're going to spray that because it looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool the way that yeah. red and that white kind of look, huh? Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought about that. That does look kind of cool. Nope, I'm going to spray it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Uh, so now I got to get set up for the next step. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so this Okay, so my goal here is, I, and I could honestly, I could leave it diagonal like that, and um, that's the way I did Carl Jacobson's sign, is left it all diagonal. But what I want to do here is I want to create what I call my star pattern. Um, so I, I went 45 from one angle, now I'm going to go 45 back to the other angle. And if you look at, you can see, I, I, I can't see my reference lines on here too well, but I've got them outside of the box where I can kind of see where those lines are at and that's uh, hopefully I can keep things straight at a pretty much a 45 as I work my way through this we'll find out here in a second <laughs> Right, guys there it uh, there that is now if you watch close you can see I kind of lost my angle as I, if I had it to do over again I think I would do it a little bit different I kept my angle pretty much through here but my overall I think my overall effect is going to be what I want I really like those little uh, that little start hold it up so we can yeah now I've done this before it's what I call my star pattern or my diamond pattern but I've never done it with the 60 degree bit I've always done it with the the 90 degree bit because I was taking out a lot more material but I wanted a tighter pattern that's the reason I decided to go with the 60 degree on this I'm, I'm but I'm happy with it again it's really tough to keep your angle when you can't really see that line 
So um, I'm hoping it, it looks good once it's all sprayed. So this is going to be red, obviously, and these are going to be black. So let's get in uh, and do some of that lettering. See if I can keep my angle a little bit better on those letters. Ah, uh, wonder if you can hear the thunder in the background. All right. That twisty cord is bothering, bothering you, isn't it? If I could see it was bothering me. All right, again, I'm going to turn my board kind of at an angle where I'm pulling straight lines. So let's... Yeah, I think it's going around us, huh? Watch your eye. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and draw my lines and uh, go the opposite direction there. So we'll be right back and I'll have all these lines drawn. Okay, so I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I, I've got my diagonal, my 45 going one way. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the center piece and then work my way both ways. I think if I'd done that on the big, on the big square, I think I, it would have, I would have been able to hold my angle a little bit better. Anyway, that's my theory, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I didn't draw my line, my center line here, like I should have. Now I thought about drawing this with a, a black pen, like a Sharpie, so I could see that. I didn't want, I definitely did not want to do that on the square because um, I didn't want the black to show through when I'm spraying that red. But anyway, I have kind of a, uh, an idea here where I'm at. I kind of like that. What do you think, guys? That and awesome. gals? I like it. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these letters just like I did these off camera, and then we'll come back and uh, see where we're at time wise. 
All right, you guys, so it looks like I pretty much got this done as far as the carving goes. Now what I really have to be careful of is that I don't have any high spots. Along these edges here, because you can only get so close with the 60 degree bit, um, I'm gonna have to go through here and, um, babe, can you uh, focus like on the bottom of these letters here? Oh, you're gonna have to put it down. Oh. So uh, these, these spots in here, I'm going to take out, you know, like I normally would do with my background. I don't want any high spots when I go to sanding. Not that that is, you know, a deal breaker or anything, but I'm just going to try and go through here and take out any spots that might be too high. Like that one, I know. I know. So I, I, I have to kind of look at it from an angle. So if I hold this up, at kind of that angle, is that gonna, can you see high spots in there? Yeah. Uh, maybe some in here, looks like those might be high. I'm looking at the wrong angle, but in here, there definitely is some high spots. So I'll need to take those down with my little carving tool. Anyway, so I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna come back, put an edge on this thing. you guys so I've got everything pretty much done on there I'm about ready to spray I think I still have a few more high spots and I got to brush it real good I brushed it a couple times but I want to brush it again real good the edge that I just did you can see I did with the the 618 and the big uh, chamfer bit we could if you put it if I what yeah, you didn't let me put up the oh on it. sorry that's all right so that's the big 618 it works really good for big cuts like that. So uh, that is it for today, guys. Um, it's just, this was really time consuming and, uh, but I wanna leave them as much in there as, as I can so you guys can see what that process is. It was uh, pretty confusing keeping those lines straight. But anyway, I, I think I'm really gonna like the way it comes out. Um, anyway, I hope Peter likes it. So. That is it. We are um, we are going to be back on Monday, and we will definitely get this sprayed, sanded, and and ready to go. And then uh, we've got to do our LED lights. We got to do yeah. We got a bunch of stuff to do yet. And so, and Monday we will have our first video of our challenge projects, our resin challenge projects. So that is it, guys. Thanks again for watching. We so appreciate you. Uh, please, if you have any questions, anything I can help with, eric at makeawoodsign.com. And uh, I'm on Make a Wood Sign on Instagram, posting stuff on there every day. So if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. And uh, we will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.